Hi guys. There is a cute little deck you may have seen me using online uh, lately. I'm having so much fun with it. It's Monica Bodarski's House of Shadows, Lenormand. And um, when I first saw these images of this deck, I pretty much fell in love with the quirky little characters. They are so adorable. I want to show you what they look like. I'll show you all the cards in the deck. It has very nice card stock, nice matte finish, and these are like good strong cards. Um, the box itself is just a cardboard box. You want to put something around it to protect it perhaps to keep it for a very long time but this little deck will give you a lot of smiles let me show you what's in there and then we'll take the ultimate look at this deck to see um, how it handles in a grand to blow because when you're reading a very large spread like that um, the images do matter so let's take a look at this wonderful little deck the House of Shadows. So let's take a look through this deck one by one. The rider card uh, does show someone riding on this little beast. It's very cute. The back of the cards have the letter card on it, which is a bat carrying a letter and the name of the deck. I love when artists put the name of the deck on the top because later when I'm using the deck um, on uh, social media, it reminds me the name and the person who wrote it. When you get a ton of decks, sometimes you're like, oh, what was the name of that deck? Uh, the clover card, nice big clover scene there. The ship card is being carried by a jellyfish. So the ship becomes a, kind of the secondary item in that card. House is a, a magnificent haunted house. I love this. The tree card, very easy to see. Very sparse tree, it's so cute. The uh, clouds card somebody um, with an umbrella you could actually use a dark side of the cloud on the left if you were interested in doing that the snake card was a little harder for me to see just because it's um, a lot of negative space but you can see how it's um, kind of in front of this little person we've got the coffin the bouquet coming out of a dark closet this is actually one of my favorite cards i think this is a really funny card the scythe card these characters remind me so much of, um, you know how a cat, when they do something really goofy and funny, they maintain a really straight face. The characters in this have that kind of placid look like I, I'm not doing anything. And um, it has a very quirky, funny look. The child is actually carrying her own head like a balloon. Hilarious. The fox card. Bear star nice big star the stork dog the tower the garden with lots of people in it we've got the mountains we've got the crossroads i like this card too because it's easy to see from a distance the mice card two mice the heart card so she's floating up with a broken heart um the the artist said that when she made this she wanted to make it so you could actually read other meanings into it um she said that the way she does it there's no positive or negative cards to me those aspects are very important to the system but if you wanted to do something that isn't necessarily positive or negative she says go for it because um the cards are meant to be kind of neutral this is probably why they have such a neutral face um in the way that I read, I have distinctly positive, negative, and then um, neutral cards this way, one way or the other. This is a lily card. A little bit harder to see the lily in a larger spread. Easy to see in a small spread. The sun card. I love it. Really funny. Moon. <laughs> the key card. And she's floating with a key. The fish card. Adorable. I like that there's more than one. The anchor card. This one I just wanted to color it in a little bit darker, but uh, it's fun. He's being carried by the octopus and the cross card. And in a smaller spread like this, I just threw down these cards randomly. So we've got the man, the clover, and the mice. You can see how it's quick and easy to read them in these small spreads. So the man's luck is diminished. Um, and I really enjoy using these in little spreads like this. The deck does come in this cute little box. It is just a, a regular cardboard box, so you may want to protect that by uh, putting that in a pretty little bag or something. And it does have a little white book with a forward by Arwen Lynch. And it has on the back of the, the little white book keywords 
for the car, each of the cards and a little paragraph about it, a little bit of near and far method mentioned in there as well. Um, there's nothing about actual layouts in this book. Um, you can get those things online, but it does have the keywords to get you started with each of the cards if you're not familiar with individual meanings. So let's take a peek at this deck in a grand tableau. So now we have all the cards together just in their normal card order. I haven't even shuffled them. Um, it becomes um, a bit harder to tell which card is which. Like I love that the birds card is really clear. The mountains I can see, the crossroads. But there you notice there are a lot of characters in these cards. So we've got the scythe with the character. We've got the brooms with the character. Um, we've got, we want it in the child, but the fox has a person in it too, so it becomes a little hard to find the people cards or to see what we're looking for. Uh, I noticed with the anchor card, I kind of wanted to just make it a little blacker so I could see it far away. So I, when I'm looking at it like this in a bigger spread, I would be able to read quickly up and down and know what I'm looking at instead of stopping to look at each one. Because when you're reading these more complex spreads, each card only has one word or meaning and you're zipping across to read this like a sentence. So you don't really want to try and have to struggle to, to see what's in each card. That said, this remains one of my favorite decks to read for small spreads because it is so charming and so quirky. And when you're reading this in little spreads, it's, it's hard not to chuckle. This would be a perfect deck to use for something like your Halloween or Samhain readings. It'd be perfect for a party. Um, I love the, the that the cards have a serious to them even when they are showing really funny little things so I do like this deck and I, I do prefer to use it for the smaller spreads so I want to explain what I mean about the people being in the cards so the man and the woman card you want people in them and you also want it in the child card like we see here um, but the child almost um, becomes a lesser part of the card and in things like the scythe and the broom it becomes harder to see the brooms of the scythe because you're seeing the character first in small spreads this isn't a big deal this is not a big deal but when you're reading a big spread like this and there's a lot of characters for example even the letter card is not a person but there is the character you see the bat first and you see the letter second um, there's a person in the book card um, there's a person in the key card and this person in the cross card so there's a lot of people and it makes it a little more challenging to find the items that you're looking for within the card to find the keyword to just kind of slip across real fast for your your reading um, but I do love reading these cards in little spreads because they are so funny and adorable and fun to read